Arafa, which is the best day, with the day without which one cannot perform Hajj, because the Prophet Sallallahu said, al Hajju Arafa. So when we are here, we are getting ready for that day. That reminds us Yawm al Qiyamati most. Because I told you earlier that Hajj has to do with our our heart and our spirituality, our ruh. When you travel from your house to this place, it reminds you the day you are going to travel from dunya to akhirah. When you are taking different places and different difficulties to arrive here, it reminds us of the difficulties we are going to take from death to the grave to hisab to yawm al qiyamati or to the meeting of Allah tabarak wa ta'ala to Jannah insha'Allah or to the other place wa li'ayyadu billahi tabarak wa ta'ala and when we get out of our regular clothes and we are shrouded with this ihram clothes it reminds us the day we are going to put our kafan when Allah tabarak wa ta'ala said wala tansa nasibaka min dunya do not forget your share of this dunya the scholar said your share of this dunya is that piece of cloth you are going to take with you when you meet Allah Tabaraka wa ta'ala. When we die, everything we say belongs to us. We will know they do not belong to us. The bed, the room, the house, the car, everything. The first thing people will do is to get us out of our own room. The only thing we're going to take from this dunya is this piece of cloth. So when we put this, now we are different from how we were before. It reminds us that very day we are meeting Allah wa ta'ala with that piece of clothes. That therefore, we have to be ready for it. When we come and to say, Labaik Allahumma, Labaik, Labaik, La Sharika, Laka, Labaik, it is answering Allah's call. It is reminding us the day we are going to answer that ultimate call. Yawma tubaddalu l'ardu ghayra l'ardi wa samawatu wa barazu lillahi al-wahid al-qahar. That call no one will miss. That call everyone will have to answer one day that is calling us that is waiting for us and this answering we have to have the presence of Allah tabarak wa ta'ala we have to be present with Allah when we say labaik allahumma labaik labaik la sharika laka labaik inna alhamda wa ni'mata laka wal mulka la sharika laka when I'm telling you you have no association in my heart is this true or no if Allah doesn't have any association in my heart am I doing things that Allah tabarak wa ta'ala doesn't want and I do it because someone else wants, because my desire wants, because my nafs wants it. Am I doing everything I'm doing solely for Allah or I want others also to have part of it? The Prophet Sallallahu when someone asks him, somebody is going to jihad, he does it for the sake of Allah, but he wants people to know he's courageous. He is in jihad. What does he have? The Prophet Sallallahu said, the jihad that is accepted is that which is done only for Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala. The hajj that is accepted is the hajj that is done only for Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala. Wa atimmul hajja wal umrata lillahi, says Allah. Complete hajj and umrah only for the sake of Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala. When we come here and get ready for Arafah, meet at that very day of Arafah, that day which will receive the amount of people you will see anywhere in the world. And no invitation. Everybody paid their own money to come to that place. Nobody gave them anything to come. We paid thousands of dollars to meet there. The days that reminds us Yom al Qiyamati most. That's why Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala will look at us. We are shriveled, unshriveled, ghubran. We have everything, you know, disorganized in us. Only for the sake of Allah and tabar Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala will say to his angels, Ishhadu, be a witness, be a witness, anni qad ghafar tu lehum, that I have forgiven them. May Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala look at us all and forgive us. So we are ready, getting ready today for that very day that is the day of tomorrow. So here we are, where we are, I don't know why I'm here. I'm here, this is very uncomfortable, it's hard, it's this and it's that. Why? Because Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala wants it. That helps me grow spiritually. That helps me grow inwardly. That is the sense of ubudiya. Allah is looking from us. Is, is waiting from us. Is, uh, is looking for uh, for us to do ubudiya. That sense of uh, of being slave and servant of Allah Tabaraka wa Taala, which is the highest station. The highest station is the station of ubudiya. To be abd. 
of Allah. We claim we are servants of Allah. But are we servants of Allah? Because Allah says, Inna ibadi laysa laka alayhim sultan. My servants, you, shaitan, can do no harm. You cannot affect them. You cannot make them do things. Can shaitan make me and you do something? That means we are the one claiming it. But is it accepted by Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala? Because that is the highest maqam. Look, when Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala praised Rasulullah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in the highest maqam of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam he praised him as a servant when he gave him the Quran he says Tabarak alladhi nizzal al-Furqana ala abdihi alhamdulillahi alladhi anzal al-kitab anzal ala abdihi al-kitab when he gave him the message the message to call people he called him abd the servant wa innahu lamma qama abdullah when he invited him that for that journey, Al Isra wal Mi'ra, he called him Abd. Subhanallah, Asra, the Abdihi. When he spoke to him, with nobody being present and no one being present or nothing else being present, nothing between him and Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala, that Viklo meeting, he called him Abd. He revealed to his servant what he revealed to his servant. That maqam we are looking for. We are trying to be real ibad of Allah wa ta'ala and this is one of the